Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Tara with Mayhem Crafty Cards. And today I'm participating in a Back to Basics card hop. So what that means is using as minimal products as you can, um, kind of like when you first started. So for today's card, what I did was I used a stencil from the Rabbit Hole Designs, a pigment ink, and a distressed oxide ink, and two pieces of eph ephemera that I had, because um, you know we all have lots and lots of ephemera just sitting around. So what I did was I took a piece of craft cardstock, which is four and a quarter by five and a half, and I went ahead and taped that down to my stencil. So what I'm going to do is I have a special blending brush just for um, like pigment inks. So I use a Gina K Designs um, ivory pigment ink for this because it's on craft cardstock. I did it with the white and I wasn't really, I don't know, it looked okay, but I decided I was going to try it with the ivory since it's on craft. And instead of like swirling back and forth, which I did at the beginning, but then my stencil started moving. So I just went ahead and took my bl my <laughs> my blending brush and just kind of swiped across it because it is intricate stencil. So, you know, I didn't use pixie spray for this part, but I will use it for another part of um the card because what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat emboss this so because pigment ink stays wet for you know quite a while I just grabbed some clear embossing powder and poured it over the top of this and, and embossed it so that way it's kind of like preserved you know that ivory pigment ink so I went ahead and embossed that and I did that off camera because one it's super loud and it this card literally took me the length of the video it actually took longer to heat emboss than anything else because I heat embossed the entire background and with the craft it didn't really warp my cardstock so after I went ahead and heat embossed that I Place pixie spray which I had to, I needed to use the pixie spray because I tried it with the washi tape and the washi tape just was not um, was not cooperating with me today so I did go ahead and use my pixie spray for this now what I did was is I offset the stencil so that I could get that festive berries in there and you can do this with a with pretty much any stencil I just like the heat emboss because then I know my cardstock is dry and it's not going to mix with my other color especially when I'm using uh, distress, uh, distressed oxides I have sp I have brushes just for my oxides and just for pigment inks because you don't want to mix the two so I am using my cottontail blending brushes because these are the only brushes that <laughs> I use anymore and I'm going to be doing the same thing I'm just going to swipe over the stencil even though I use pixie spray I still wanted just to swipe over the stencil just in case it decided to shift a little bit. So this part I didn't have to heat emboss because what I did was I took my piece of ephemera and I was able to adhere that down and then I just set the whole thing aside to dry for a couple minutes. So let me tell you a little bit about the card hop. Um, it is a back to basics. I believe there are bloggers, Instagrammers, and YouTubers. So I will have a list um, of everybody participating in the hop. Uh, as many as I can and then I will also have all the products that I used in the description box so be sure to hop along with everybody um, this is a hop for the handmade happiness which <clears throat> is if you've not heard of it it's a it's a pretty fantastic group I really enjoy it so here I just took the um, piece of ephemera that I had it was this old um, vintagey like Santa Claus and I used some super thin foam strips to adhere this because I didn't want to add any liquid adhesive to the back of my card or I'm sorry to the back of the ephemera so that one you know once I had them on there I just went ahead and placed them down and literally this card took me no time at all I mean this was the fastest card I've made in quite a while um, and I did the same thing with the sentiment I just went ahead and used those super thin foam squares and adhered that down and that was it. All I have to do now is adhere it to my card base, which is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's a standard A2 size card. Um, but yeah, super quick, super easy, minimal products used. And I think my card turned out pretty darn good. <laughs> so what, um, 
what I'm going to do is, like I said, link everybody down below that I can. I'm going to um, link all my products that I used in the description box. And if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe to the channel. I mean, I try to do a little bit of everything on here. Um, and make sure you follow along on the hop because there's going to be a lot of different creators. And I am going to go ahead and post a picture of the card because you really couldn't see on camera that um, embossing powder. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.